guys this is one of the cheapest shops in kamkunji i realized that when you go to kamkunji the shops which you find like the first first shops the shops which you can see when you're just walking around they are a bit expensive as compared to these other shops which you find them inside the buildings so guys i would recommend like when you go to buy these things from kamkunji get into the building and the shops which are in those hidden corners guys they have better deals and i guess this is because these shops like they pay lesser rent as compared to the shops in front guys guys if you want to get something for your kitchen yeah or just anything for your house go to kamukunji and you're going to get very good deals or if you don't stay in Kam like around nairobi maybe you're in mombasa or kisumu yeah just anywhere outside nairobi guys you can just find someone like who you know lives around and they can buy the thing for you and like transport it as a parcel then you can get your product i actually in this shop i found a lady who was buying uh over the sink rack and she was to send it to mombasa guys so if you're not around nairobi guys you can still get things things at that price back to what brought me to kamkuji guys so i went to get some stuff for my house yeah i got this door hanger thing like so you can use it for your bathroom or for your bedroom to hang your clothes like jackets all this stuff so i got it for my bathroom i'm actually going to be using it to hang my shower capes and towels everything guys and i also got some vichungi one for sieving my flour and other one for sieving my tea yeah things like that guys i use tea bags but i still need need a gichungi guys like i still need it i also got a flask this one went for 700 kenyan shillings and it's just the best like i like it it really keeps the tea warm because i've already tried it guys yeah i also got this pressure cooker actually this is one of the main things we, why i went to kamkunji guys so i've always wanted a pressure cooker because i'm actually using this coco meko and this meko guys like i'm tired of purchasing like foil all the time so i thought pressure cooker will help me because as you all know guys like it cooks within a very short period of time yeah guys so these are seven liter pressure cooker and i got it for 2800 kenyan shillings yeah and guys i actually had seen this the same pressure cooker the seven liter pressure cooker in another shop the ones which you find them like the first first shops and they were selling it for 3200 kenyan shillings and as you can see that is a difference of 400 like from the price i, I finally purchased it so guys always walk around like don't purchase from the first first shops get inside the buildings get to know the prices how other people other sellers are pricing their things then now you can decide on what you're going to buy so the last thing i got is this over the sink rack i've actually wanted to get this over the sink rack for a long time guys but first let me show you what i've been using before guys so this is the rack i've been using before i got it from kamkunji for 200 kenyan shillings last year yeah I've, like it's actually a good one if you don't want something big or you're on a budget yeah the same to the spoon holder i got it from kamkunji it was 400 kenyan shillings and also the cup holder yeah guys you're going to see it it's just that i've not tilted my camera well yeah guys so you can just get these things from kamkunji if like you don't want to get the bigger like utensil older thing yeah so this is the cup holder thing yeah guys so i'm first going to clean up the kitchen so that we can get into setting up the over the sink rack guys My kitchen is a bit small guys and actually that's why i needed this over the sink rack i got it for 5000 kenyan shillings from kamkunji for those who like to watch kamkunji videos you know like this rack is 5000 but some other shops they sell it at 5500 kenyan shillings yeah guys actually in this shop i had to bargain it to 5000 kenyan shillings guys yeah and it's 
actually the best if you have a small kitchen or maybe if you don't want to like crowd your kitchen so you want it to have space yeah so it's actually the best so i would recommend you getting it and make sure that you get it for 5000 kenyan shillings so if you are good at bargaining then good luck it's a good quality rack it's strong and at the same time it can accommodate like a lot of utensils for your kitchen yeah guys so if you want something quality and good for your kitchen and at the same time saving your space then that's it for you guys so this is the pressure cooker the one i showed you earlier yeah so i've just assembled it yeah this pressure cooker can actually cook for you in 20 minutes and that helps you save the foil guys yeah so if you're looking for a pressure cooker i would advise you to get this one and at the same time it's safe because yeah it looks like in so well like so hard for you to have accidents when you're using this kind of pressure cooker guys so if you're looking for one this is the best one for you according to my experience guys yeah so that's the all the final look of my over the sink rack and when i've just placed everything on it yeah guys and as you can see it has made my small sink look more spacious guys so that's it for my video thank you for watching if you're new make sure that you click that subscribe button and turn your notification bells on so you won't miss anything when i upload so until next time bye and stay safe